Hello, the internet, and welcome back to the live stream. It is Saturday, the 25th of January, 2019. Today, I will be live for 87 minutes. Touch wood, if technology works. Of course, this is my preamble for every stream. We don't know if this will work for the duration. We don't know what'll happen. It's That's the dice, that's the gamble, that's the... Um, that's the risk you play, or the risk you take when you play on this kind of platform. <laughs> Man, I'm a little nervous here. I'm a little nervous. Get a little nervous on YouTube. A couple of things at play here. YouTube being the first nervous factor. Second nervous factor being that I'm using OBS. And I still haven't got it 100%, what I regard as 100% satisfactory to, to stream. Um, third factor, uh, I'm using Restream.io and of course you add an extra layer to all kinds of issues, potential issues, when you start using an extra thing in the middle. So I'm a little nervous. I'm watching the stream on a secondary computer or a secondary device and I can see it's all good. I just hope it sounds good. I'm seeing the chit chat. We will get to the whole chit chat briefly. Um, but the idea of this stream is just to sort of talk about a few things that have gone down this week. I want to talk about the concept, the stream title. Does, does things, does life move faster as you get older? It certainly feels like that to me. Um, I've heard a couple of different, different ideas put forward about whether this actually happens or whether it's all in your mind. Uh, so I wouldn't mind discussing that. I want to talk to you a little bit about my DLive channel. Did I mention, though this is going to be a test, did I mention I've got a DLive channel? I've just popped it in the chit chat. I don't know if that'll work, but it's in the chit chat now, and we'll see if it's working. I can see the chit chat. Mindy, um, hi Ben on Aerogamer. Okay, what I'll do, I will go back up to the top of the chit chat, and I'll address every comment. Hey, there they go. It did work. Okay, so there's something that's working great. The uh, link that I posted is my DLive channel. I want to talk about that because tomorrow there's something kind of pretty unique happening. Some of that content will roll out here on the YouTube stream next week, but we'll, we'll discuss that momentarily. Let's bring the chit chat up in the screen. Let me go back and read everyone's comments because like I say every every week, this is a... This is a stream... Why am I so nervous here on YouTube? What the heck? Look at my hands. This one's shaking more than this one. What the hell? I stream every single day and I don't get any nerves. I come out here for 87 minutes and I'm shaking. I feel nervous. I feel nervous. It's so stupid. Get the hell, what the, what the hell is with the nerves? Uh, so Mindy directly answered the question. The question being, does life, does life move faster as you get older? Or is it all a mental thing? She says, yes, it does. As we age and life beats us down, okay, we become more patient, kind of. When we were young, nothing happens fast enough, and that's why time goes so slow. I feel you. I feel you, Mindy. Like, when you're young, you... You don't really have patience because you just want to go and do stuff, right? You just want to get out there and do things. Like you want school to finish so you can go out and hang out with your mates. So there's no patience there. But when you're older, you definitely just relax more into things. You, you take your time more. Um, and we have so much more we want to get done that there's no time to do it. But hey, amen to that. I've, dudes, I got so much going on right now. Like I got... In the, in the other room, I got Marty and Stacy still sleeping. Now, they were going to head south to do a holiday and, and take in some scenes. But, of course, with the bushfires, they had to change their plans. So, they're sticking around here for a while. Now, I forgot. Pete, if you're watching this. Hoogan van boogen van schnoogen van doogen. I forgot I've got Pete Oste in town as well. He turned up yesterday, sent me a message. I was live on DLive. I couldn't take it. Heard the message. Oh, dude, we're in town. We thought you were going to come for dinner, hang out. Forgot, right? Completely forgot. They're they're actually holidaying in like you don't know these people, but they're holidaying like three three streets away on Park Row. They don't they don't live anywhere near here. They've they've come into town just to hang out, not with me, but just to see the scenes. And oh, Pete, yeah, by the way, we've come to Colborough Beach, man, dude. All right, I'm gonna hang out. And then I forgot, and uh, I got a I'm streaming now, and we're gonna go and do something with Marty and Stacy after. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch Pete. It's freaking hot in here. I gotta open up a window. You know what I'm saying? There's no time in life. I feel you, Mindy. I feel that comment. There's no time in life, or it seems that way anyway. 
But when we were young, we watched we watched the clock just waiting to get out of school and waiting for dinner, waiting for movies to start. Yeah, you, you've nailed it, Mindy. You've nailed it. But don't forget the clock hasn't changed. The actual 60 second, the minute, the 10 minute, that, that physically hasn't changed, obviously, but our perception of what that means has changed. That is why we should seize the day because before you know it, you'll be too adult to do it. Adults are too old or too decrepit to do things. So go on that trip, climb that mountain, raft that river and slide down that water slide. That sounds like your mantra. So go on that trip, climb that mountain, raft that river and slide down that water slide. Mindy, you could make that into a song. Uh, life and time waits for no one, not even the beautiful ones. I think the beauty has nothing to do with it. Everyone's got their own perception of what that is anyway, but I, I feel what you're saying. Oh, she's continued skydive, snorkel, paraglide, travel, but never for... I don't know why I'm doing it in this accent, but I'm a little nervous, so I'm putting on a fake accent. Skydive, snorkel, paraglide, travel, but never forget to hug people along the way. Life is truly grand. I don't recommend bungee jumping, though. I've done a bungee jump. I recommend that it. it's... It'll, that'll blow you away, that's for certain. Very, very strange. Very, very unusual thing to do. In When you're standing on the edge of this thing and you're looking down, everything about that says, no, no, do not do this. But then you do it. And as you do it, you're like, well, this is a new feeling. Am I going to die? I don't think so. I've seen people do it in front of me. Okay, just relax, enjoy it. And then with the, within two seconds, it's all over. I did 134 meters. It was a big one. Um, I said, morning, Mindy, just reading this now, and then I dissected that. Tim, Aris, Tim Ariscog, Ariscog, gotcha, Timbo. Uncle Timbo says, hello, all. I'll be joining you later as I have a property handover to the landlord who has never seen the property. This will be interesting as he doesn't know it was a former grow house. Now, Tim, here's a couple of points with that. First of all, are you the landlord? Wait, handover to a landlord. So you're a real estate agent, Tim? Am I reading that correct? You're the estate agent handing over the house back to the landlord? Or are you a tenant handing over a place that you rented? I can't work out which way that's swinging. If it's the former, great. If it's the latter, you probably don't want to put into a public forum that you use that house as a grow house. Being that that's illegal in this country, just saying, just putting that out there. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm no saint myself and I'm no authority, but if I was to put something in a chit chat to the nature that you have, if that's you, that might not, I might have, I might have read it all wrong. So just to make it very clear, I was saying, uh, what's a grow house for those who do not know? Just to be sure, right? Because, you know, this is the internet. People may get things right, people may get things wrong. Hey, I might get things wrong. The grow house could have could have meant a a room full of basketball players who you were trying to grow taller to be able to compete with the other basketball team. I don't think it is. I'm just saying. So I said, um, what is it? And he said, it's a house. So there you go, Tim. It's a house totally fitted out for growing marijuana illegally. It was set up like that for 18 months. Now, I, I, I would speculate here, folks, and I'm not speaking on Tim's behalf, but I would speculate it's not him he's talking about. You, you feel me? You wouldn't do this if it was you. Or would you? Tim, you've done some pretty crazy stuff in chit chats. I don't think this is one of them. Being that it's 9 a.m. in the morning as well on a Saturday, I just don't think... I think I've added things up incorrectly. I think my maths is not, my math is not working correctly at this point. Uh, he says there's lots of hidden damage you don't notice till you live there, but also lots of obvious damage and modifications. See that that now that you've just now you just completely changed my mind, Tim. Lots of hidden damage that you don't notice until you live there. So you, I wouldn't notice it unless I live there, and you notice it because you live there. Tim, 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 Tim. Take a back seat here. Message retracted. I feel like that should be seen in the chat. Message retracted. I said, good luck. And then it became time for me to go to makeup. And I said, okay, see you all in 10. Now I didn't actually say what I normally say. Okay, see you all in 10. 
because there's no one in the chat at that point, it was just Tim and he'd left and Mindy who was there earlier. So I just said, see you in 10. It's kind of a little cheat, right? Like I know there's no one really watching. So I just said, see you in 10. And then Mindy said, I wish I was there to help with the trash. And I'm pretty sure she's referring to cleaning up the grow house because of course, in some parts of this beautiful planet, marijuana is totally legal. Where Mindy happens to be playing, it is legal. You can smoke up whatever you damn well please. And I, for one, salute our overlords that agreed on this. Why should it be illegal? I don't know. I don't know why we make a big... I don't even know why I'm making a big deal about it. It's just a little pot. Not a big deal. But then again, if you're... If that grow house is to sell and on the market and blah, 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 you're uh, not just a user, but a dealer. And I've got issues there. But anyway, anyway. Uh, further down the chit chat. Okay, we're getting up the speed here. Mindy says, hi, Benon. I say, hi, Benon, right back. Arrow Gamer in the chit chat. Hi, Benon and all the givers. Thank you, Arrow Gamer. Nice of you to address my fellow givers in such a beautiful fashion. I'm going to give you a freaking cheers for that. How do you do, Arrow Gamer? Good to see you, man. Uh, Mindy says, hi, Arrow. Ethan, hello, it's Ethan. Ethan, how you going, Ethan? Good to see you, my friend. Ethan, what a great name. Ethan and Michael, hi, everyone. Hello, Michael. Well, good morning to you too, and good afternoon, and good day, and good evening, depending on the time zone. Mindy, hi, Ethan. Mindy, hi, Michael. Arrow Gamer, Mindy, hi there. Ethan, ooh, message retracted. What did you say? What did you say, Ethy? Ethy, don't make me come in there. Uh, time by its nature is mental. Other animals don't pay attention to time. That's true, yeah. Or do they, Mindy? You know, like you see, like um, you see these animals that do certain things only at certain times, such as, well, the obvious one is animals that hunt at night. They're playing to time. They're not doing it in the day. They're only doing it at night. Maybe that's a bad example. What about the animals that wait at a particular junction? for another animal to come by so they can trap it to eat it. They're playing with time. Ah. Paula. Hi, kids. Hello, Paula. And I like how I like how Paula addresses everyone as kids here because this is YouTube. You gotta be safe, right? You gotta play the... Oh, shit. No, Paula. Does that mean that my channel's now aimed at children? Shit. By the way, folks, sweating. Sweating here. Not only am I nervous, but I'm sweating. Why do I get nervous on YouTube? Why do I get nervous on YouTube? What is it about this platform? Why do I get freaking nerves here? I don't understand that. Tiffy, is Tiffy here on YouTube? Tiffy, are you up there? I don't even know if Tiffy's here. I don't know. I don't think Tiffy's here. I'd... Tiffy, does Tiffy play YouTube? Tiffy, do you play YouTube? Let me see. Tiffy, do you play the YouTube game? Why am I nervous here on YouTube? I don't get it. I don't get it. Good to see you, Tiff. At least Tiffy's got my back, right? She's there. She's up there helping me along, I hope. Yeah, I don't understand it, folks. Get nervous here. I'm practically talking to the same crew just through a different mechanism, but I'm stupidly nervous. I feel like at any second, this whole thing could fall tits up, right? I feel like I could get demonetized for saying the word tits up. If I did, let's make it very clear. Tits up is an expression where one falls backwards, therefore pointing their tits, could be breasts if you wanted to, up to the sky. The symbolism there is that you are on your back, not vertical. So you're not like this, you're horizontal. It's just an expression. Please don't demonetize for that crap. That's just an expression. I could have said, gone ass up. And then if, if it's the ass up, it's opposite, right? You're on your stomach. You've fallen over, you've tripped, you've landed with your penis facing the ground and your ass shooting upwards. Ass up. Does that get me demonetized? I bloody well hope not. Because those 30 cents, they can really come in handy. <laughs> ah, shit. I mean, ah, uh, shoot, shoot. You're allowed, you're allowed to swear on YouTube. After there's a, there's a gap, right? There's a period of time where you have to enter or you have to pass before you can cuss. Where are we now? I think, yeah, we're past that. We're, we're well, we're permission, permission to swear, permission to swear. If you guys don't mind, can I swear? I'm going to ask you as the givers, can I swear? Uh, Paula says, hi, Mindy. Did you do it by your ankles? Yes, Mindy. Yeah, tied by the ankles. Exactly, Bungie. And I'm glad you specified that. <laughs> Ethan M. Hey, Ethan, where are you from, dude? Where are you from, man? Uh, he is implying the grow house was from a previous tenant. I would say that he is implying that, Paula. I, I would say that. Tim doesn't have the time to grow marijuana. He is too old. Okay. The boomers make the best gardeners. There you go. Cheers back. 
Jay vlogs in the chit chat. Hello, Jay. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, Jayski. And I see permission granted from Mindy. Okay. Now, what was I going to swear about? I can't fucking remember. There it is. Slid out. It just came out like that. Just slid on out. Now, slide it back in. That's my one cuss word for the stream up until a little while longer when you're allowed to swear again. You know, they got these rules here on YouTube. You got to play by the rules. We're on their platform. You got to engage the rules. Do I agree with them? Heck no. Do I abide by them? More or less. I try to. It's hard though. It's very difficult. Don't understand why they're here. Oh man, I'm getting the sweat bead. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Folks, I might have to just go ahead and open my door slightly and get some more breeze in here because I'm getting hot here. I, I've got this door I can open up. Let me just open this up a little more here. Oh, you know what? It already, it already was open. That's um. It was already open as far as it could go. Uh, better the ankle than the scrotum. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, E2ETH. I'm from Canada and we love our Trez. E2? What's Trez? We're from, I'm from Canada. Now E2. E2ETH. Is that, Ether is that Ethereum? Is that, is your handle something related to Bitcoin? Uh, bit cryptocurrency? Now I'm getting all muddled up here because we're on YouTube. You will never know what I said. Message retracted. Gotcha. Um, I'm from Canada. Yeah. What part of Canada are you from, E2? Good to have you here, by the way. I freaking love, 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 love your country. Mm. So let me tell you, folks. Let me tell you what's going to happen on the Gives a Minute D Live stream tomorrow. Now, this will also roll out in some way or form here on the Gives a Minute YouTube stream next week. There'll have to be a tweaking of it, of course, but what we've been doing, and if you don't know what my DLive is, I'm gonna pop that freaking link again in the chit chat. There's that linky poo to the Discord, uh, to the DLive. What we've been doing, and I didn't even know we were gonna do this. Let me be clear, this just kinda happened, right? As I stream, I stream long format. So this stream here will go for 87 minutes. That's just because every stream is longer by a minute per week. That's just the thing I do on YouTube. But on DLive, we just do long format streams. Like last night, I think we did four hours and 30 minutes or something. Um, marijuana trees, oh, our trez, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I getcha. So when we do these long format streams over on DLive, at some point I need to get up, take a piss, take a walk, refresh my glass, you come back with a fresh, fresh beverage, whatever it is. And I've been rolling, like I've been putting up on the screen um, selections, right? And the selections are for, for the givers to, to guess, not guess, but choose. And what they are is videos featuring a song by a band that has somehow been related to me. You know, I'm a photographer, right? So I've got not just the photography thing, but I've got like a whole history of bands that I've been somehow connected to in some way, shape or form. So all of these songs somehow link back to me and I tell the story of how the link is there. And then the givers vote and make a consensus. Well, we wanna hear, um, we wanna hear six or we wanna hear 18 or whatever it, whatever it happens to be. Now what nobody knew and not even me, but for some reason, while when that selection was being made, whatever the consensus was for the day or for the stream, I'd hit a button on my stream deck and register a vote, right? A single vote for that one. And, since August, when we began this, now I've been live on DLive since April, but we didn't start it right at the beginning. Right at the beginning, man, I'm nervous. We began it at the beginning of August. We went all the way through to the end of the year, and so I thought at the end of the year, what's the point of these numbers? I I I like numbers, right? So I just did it for shits and giggles. I'm doing. I'm counting things right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but that was just a thing. And I thought, well, you know what? We've actually got. We've got a chart here. We've got a countdown in effect. We've got we've got a selection of songs that my givers over on DLive wanted to hear. So you guys made the chart. It's like the ultimate radio, right? Like you you guys have requested the song repeatedly. So I put together the top 15. Now, there was more than 15 in totes, but I thought let, let's cap it at 15, you know? Like I could do a, a 20 countdown you might as well start putting all the songs in then. So I just said, we'll cap it at 15 and we'll do a countdown. So tomorrow on the DLive at 2 p.m., which would 2 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, on the 26th of January, we will begin a stream which will include the hottest 15. 
as voted by you yahoos. Now I want to show you what this looks like in terms of the DLive itself. So if I go across to here, this is my DLive channel. Now I've got a little placeholder up here on the screen as you see that. That's just the placeholder. So if you wanna, if you wanna go across and get ready for that, it's gonna be quite a while from now, a day, maybe just over 24 hours from now, but that's where you need to go to do it. Now I did put the link in the chit chat. I will do that shizzle again. No, no, it's still there. Go scope, go scope. Oh, I put, I put a two C's in there. See, I'm so nervous, I can't even type correctly. Go over to my DLive, scope the channel, register your interest and, and come back on the stream. Um, I've got a few things up my sleeve for this for this stream. Notably, I've got, uh, well, so the thing is, we could have just sat down at my stream, right? And just played a playlist on iTunes. And I could have said, hey folks, this was the 15th song, the least voted for. And then this is the 14th. And then, the, and I could have done that, right? That's kind of, that's a countdown. Da -da -da -da. Oh shit. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. I gotta do it wrong. Otherwise I'm gonna get flagged for imitation copyright, right? I did not say, I did not do that tone. Du, 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 du. I can't even do it wrong because it'll be still trying to work out that I'm doing it, right? God, this internet. This is so bad here, right? It's so bad to not be able to be me. What I did instead was I went out into the, into the great Aussie outdoors and made videos where I talk into the song, right? The, the song comes up when I'm talking and we have a little bit of a, a scenery plus the tune, right? Also, I did like, I don't, I don't wanna blow it, but I did some cool stuff and I'm really stoked on it and I'm really excited by it and for it. And I, I know that it's hard to bring YouTube crew across, but I gotta say in my chit chat, most of you crew are already over there. Benny Crawford's in the chit chat, didn't even see you there, Benny. G'day Benny, good morning. Yeah, most of you crew are already over on DLive anyway, so I'm I'm kind of doing this also for the replay here in, in the sense that if anyone's watching this replay and they're like, you know, maybe it's a year from now and they're like, what's this guy dribbling about DLive? Well, that's what we were doing, what day will it be? The 26th of January, 2020. That's what we were doing on DLive. So that's kind of what I'm, that's the message I'm putting forward here is that that's coming up on DLive and I'd love for your support, but I understand not everyone can be there or not everyone's into DLive. Um, about, about time. Cheers. Sorry, Benny. I uh, see. I saw J vlogs, and I got a little concerned that it might have been Mr. Roston, but clearly not by the handle, uh, by the avatar. And then I just jumped somehow, jumped right past you. Very strange. Marijuana trees, folks. What is going on that I am so hot and sweaty and nervous here on YouTube? Why is this the case? Why am I nervous here on YouTube? By the way, this stream looks good to me. I think everything's going well, right? All good. Um, Benny, um, what's your what's your update with your fire situation? Now, for those that don't know, Benny had pretty devastating fire that burnt down his place of business, place of work. What's your update? You said a couple of, maybe four or five days ago on DLive, you were saying you were working from a separate building, not far from your factory. Uh, they've given you space to work from. Is that still the case or are you are you guys rebuilding, refitting out and, and moving back into the to the existing shack, if you like, the shed, the, the shell? You should have smoked the joint, Paula. Dude. Yes. Could you imagine if I just came out here puffing on one and it'd be like, dude, you're in Australia. What the hell are you doing? It's like, it seems so silly. I'm having a glass of water and I'm having a smoke. This one came from the sky. This one came from a tree. This one will get me in jail. This one will quench my thirst. So strange. It's such a weird world we live in, huh? This one they said no here. This one they said yes here. If I was in another place, they said yes, yes to this one and to this one. Okay. I'm sorry, you live in the place where they said no to that one and yes to this one. <laughs> Very strange. And when I say they, I mean they, right? The powers that be. Uh, Benny, I think Benny's not here any longer. I am so hot here, folks. Atlas walked away. Hey, Atlas. G'day, Atlas. How do you do? Welcome to the stream. How's things going? I would immediately call the Department of Consumer Services. Department of... Department of... Cons the Department of someone. Oh, child, the child thing, right? Docs, Department of Child Services. 
It's being rebuilt in the same place. I have been working out of the factory next door. Thankful to be working. Oh, okay, gotcha. Good morning, Yahoo's. Welcome, Charlotte Rose, to the stream. Hello, Charlotte. We were just talking about a bunch of things, but I was also expressing how I feel like this stream is going clean and it's looking nice, and I think everything's good. I'm using Restream.io, and I can see it up there on the on the big screen, just off scene. Off, I can see it up. Charlotte Rose, I am so nervous here. I don't know why. I don't know why I get YouTube stream nerves, but they are. They're here right now. I'm, if you could see, if you could see my feet be below me, I know you can't on the on the other camera. On the Tiffy, can you see my feet from up there? I don't think she, I don't think Tiffy can see my feet on that angel. If I get further forward, my feet. Can you? I can. I can bring them up. I'll bring them up. My feet are permanently crossed. In a in a tight knit like they're crossed like this. That's that's the tightest crossing I can do with my feet. The reason I do that is so that I can sort of hold myself from shaking. It's very very weird. Uh, pretty good, dude. Um, good seeing you in good spirits. Any trouble from the terrible triad? Oh, dude, nah, nothing. No troubles there. Uh, you forget all my running gags, Paula. My running gags. Running gags, Paula. Paula, your gags on DLive or your gags here? Yeah, I got no issues with the Terrible Triad. In fact, I mean, aside from not being able to, to go fully straight, I still can't I still can't flatten that out the entire way. I can flatten that out, but I can't flatten that out. But I, I can get full push on the board. Uh, no dramas with getting up on the surfboard. Nothing like that at all. Um, in fact, I had a killer surf two days ago. Amazing. I got some of the best waves ever. I didn't film any of it, so there's no point talking about it. A wave a day... 2020 summer edition the northern end of the beach a new break begins on february 1 it's only a few days away folks february 1 we'll have surfing content on the d live daily and on the youtube and here on the youtube stream at the end of the week stoked streaming on youtube is like having a car full of cuss words and waiting for the internet police to pull you over take a shot of jack you'll be fine i'd, I'd totally agree with that Shyla. i'd completely and utterly feel that you're, you're dead right um, now I'm only I'm only saying this. No, I'm not even going to say it. I, I I think I've got everything finished. I think I've got everything set up on this stream. I think everything's back to how it was. I'm using OBS. I'm using my laptop. I think we're good with everything. Like, like I can't hear my audio. Can you guys hear the underlay track? Is there an underlay audio track? Like just those cruising beats? I can't hear them for some reason. I can. I sorry. I can just hear them. I can't, I can't. I could turn it up in my cans, but do I want that crap? I don't know if I want that crap in my cans. I can just hear them. Looks and sounds fine. Audio is perfect. Okay, cool. I hear it. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. And thank you, Paula. Thank you for that. Thanks for your patience, folks. Um, Charlotte, did you hear the, the spiel I gave about the Hottest 15? I know you've just come in. Did you hear me talk about what's happening on the DLive tomorrow? Uh, music level is perfect. Okay. Mindy says, I hear it. Okay, great. Uh, he should pop a few tranquilizers as well and put on a safari suit. <laughs> Could you imagine? Background track is perfect as his video. And it's uh, okay. Great. Great. That's good to know. That's really good to know. I'm, um, I'm looking down at my stream and I've got zero drop frames and I'm looking at the stream on the Wi-Fi, and I'm looking at the stream above me in restream and I've got clarity. I can I can see that this is working, but again, you never really know until you ask. But in in regards to uh, D Live, there's another thing I want to talk about. If we went if we went back over here, actually just I see it there's a little bit of a lag in the chat, but that's okay. That's that's the nature of streaming, right? One internet's slower than the other. Um Atlas walked away sweet. That's good to hear. It even looks like you can straighten it a little bit. Last time you last time you mentioned that being a lingering effect, straighten it, straighten it, my straighten it, Atlas. All oh, right, sorry, the terrible triad. A little, it, it's it's potentially getting flatter. Potentially, I I, I can't really tell, but you yeah, you probably can from the last time you've seen it. Um, Charlotte says no, but I'll be there. Whatever it is, love the weekend. I have time too. Um, I've okay. I'm gonna do the announce again just for Charlotte's sake. And DLE, DLE Crystalama 10, you've changed your handle on, on YouTube. Morning all. Hey DLE, good day, good to see you. So Charlotte, tomorrow on the on the uh, the Gives a Minute D Live stream, we're gonna be counting down 
the top 15 songs that you yahoos have voted for. You know, whenever I put up on the screen a, a, a selection of songs and I've said, oh, we need a consensus. Well, I've been tallying that. I've been tallying it and keeping a record of it. And now we've got a countdown. Now I'm not counting down every song, like the worst to the first. I'm only counting down the top 15. We've got like cool, we've got videos that I'm rolling. We've got cool content discussing the music. And that's all playing out tomorrow on the Gives A Minute DLive stream, of which if you are not on DLive, I've popped the linky poo back in the chit chat and I will show you what that looks like on the stream here. This is what I've got on my DLive right now. It's just a placeholder, right? Um, 26th of January, 2020, 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Counting down your favorite songs from 15 to one. Why I say your favorite, it's because you guys voted for this. You guys didn't know you were voting, but you voted. And now we have a countdown. It's gonna be fun. I'm really, really stoked for it. Also, if you've got eagle eyes, what can you see on my D Live? Go on, go on, go on, scope my D Live as close as you possibly can. I'll give you a clue, 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 clue. Look at my lemon balance. 0 0.05 lemons. I have no lemons. Why is that the case? I cashed them all out. Last night was the night when you had to do it, the 25th UTC. I cashed out all of my lemon, and as soon as that hits my account, I am purchasing the Live You Solo to go ahead and do IRL content. Now, that's very cool from my standing point because that will definitely, well, touch wood, that will eradicate all of the streaming issues I have because I'll have two services bonded to the cloud, then on sent to, to DLive or YouTube. And it's because of the givers, right? It's because of the donations that you guys have given me on my stream on DLive and also here with the, the super chats and whatnot, all of that stuff is gone back into the stream. All of it. All that all that lemon is gone back into the stream. I'm i I'm pumped to be able to afford this. This thing's about two grand Australian, and I have enough in the lemon fund to do that. So prop props to everybody for, for donating. Props to everybody that's ever donated to me. And you, you know what I'm doing here. You know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to deliver this this cool, a beautiful, beautifully structured, beautifully presented content. And I feel like we've made, definitely we've made steps towards that. It's taken, it's taken a long time, no doubt about that. There's definitely been ups and downs and ins and outs and, and the road's kind of wobbled itself around a lot and it's been hitting bumps and hitting smashing sidewalls and crap. But every time we do something, we get a little closer to whatever this thing could be, right? Yeah. Uh, Atlas walked away. It's hard to notice small increases in one's own range of motion because you readjust to it continually. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, when life gives you lemons, there you go. And Benny Benny and Mindy and, and Shyla, you guys have all been over there doing it. So I like, I totally, you know how much I say it, like I'm doing this full time. I completely, 100%, so thankful to be able to do this and to give back again. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm really, really chuffed, really pumped. We'll see We'll see how this all rolls out, but that's what I'm doing, buying that Live View Solo, buying an extra service here in Australia and paying for there. So they've got a, so it's cost me two grand approximately to buy the device. Then it's another 680 a year to use their service and another hundred bucks a month for another 4G service. So I'm, I'm putting a fair bit down for it, but you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready with you guys. Diamond ice cream lemon. Yes, the triple give, Benny Crawford. I love it. The triple give. Awesome. Um, when life gives you... Charlotte, oh, awesome. I love that idea. Charlotte Rose was talking about the hottest 15. Yeah, and like, thanks, Charlotte Rose. In Australia, there's a, a countdown called the hottest 100 that used to happen on Australia Day, but because of cultural misappropriation, however that works... You're not allowed to do it on Australia Day anymore. So they changed the date. Well, I'm saying, no, we're doing a countdown of the 15 top songs. And we're doing it on Australia Day. We're having fun with it. By the way, the 26th of January is a Sunday for me. So a Saturday for the rest of the planet. Great time to do a countdown, right? Saturday. Mindy with three diamonds. Nice. I can't wait for IRL streams, DLE. Me too. Me too. And that's that Live You Solo is exactly what I need for that. That's going to definitely definitely help with with the the um the irl content for sure the other day folks we did a stream on d live which was complete rubbish a complete schmozzle 
I still don't really know what went down. I was looking at my laptop and I was getting constant, um, what was it called? An encode overload error, like a constant encode overload error. I'd look down at it and it'd be the bottom left-hand corner of OBS would be white and it would say encoding overload error, uh, try lowering um, output, try lowering the output settings or something like that. And I was like, I haven't done anything different. I haven't changed a thing here on OBS. Why is all of a sudden it kicking up a fuss? I don't understand that. I, I, I still don't understand it. But what it did do, and this is kind of interesting, it's interesting because it's global, right? We're, when we stream, it's, what is it now? It's 9.36 a.m. for me, but it's not that same time for everybody. But the beauty of it is, when it's late for me, it could be early for someone else. So what I did was I tried and tried and tried and tried to fix that, and I couldn't. So I said, okay, cut it, cut the stream. I'll make a promise, I'll come back, and I'll try to end this stream in three or four hours. I'll go and hang out with Marty and Stacy. we'll play some Scrabble. We went and had a surf. I'll try to finish this, I'll try to conclude this stream on my own time at a later time. Now it turns out that time actually became five past 12 in the evening. So five past midnight, I came back and I streamed until 1 a.m. Now what I found at that point was obviously the the platform DLive was full of different people because I don't often stream. Well, I've only ever streamed at that hour once before during a campaign. But in that point, DLive has changed and there's a hell of a lot of new crew on. So my stream, what I regard as my regular content, right? The cap game. That went to a hell of a lot of new people. And there are people in there going, this is great, love this game, what a cool idea. I'm like, the sad thing is, I probably won't ever see you again because whenever I'll stream, you guys will be sleeping. But it was pretty rad, like just to, to have a different, um, have a different, it's like it's like broadcasting to a different country all of a sudden. Like my, my antenna had further reach or something. It was very strange. And I was a wreck the next day, let me tell you. I was an absolute schmozzle the next day. So tired. But also, folks, if you've been watching the DLive, and I'm talking, I talk a lot about DLive, right? I'm I'm, I'm into DLive. I love it. I think, uh, well, 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 let's back up a second. I think the changes that are happening aren't great. I'm going to be clear. I don't like the changes. But that's not stopping the content. The content. The content's staying, right? On the DLive this week, we've had a special guest, Duncan, right? Buzz Kingo. Now, you don't see Buzz Kingo in the chit chat here on YouTube very often. I've seen him a couple of times, but not often. Atlas walked away. Ah, it sounds like your source your source bitrate was different than the bitrate that the site you were streaming to was expecting. If you change nothing, then the expected bitrate probably lowered. Um, I stream at a constant bitrate though, so there's that. So there's that. Paula, some of them will catch you if they follow, they get notifications. That's true, Paula, that's true. They may they may be like relaxing early morning or getting up for work or something, whatever it is. But it, it was just, it was unique to play at that hour. That's all I'm saying. And I was kind of thinking that maybe, maybe I'll swap one day a week where I'll do, or maybe even two streams that day where I'll do like a, a nighttime edition and then a daytime. But I, I don't know, like, I mean, if I worked in a in a warehouse or a factory or an office, and they said, "Hey, man, one day a week, can you come in from from 9 p.m. through to 6 a.m.?" I'd be like, "Fuck no, I'm going to sleep." But it seems like with streaming, it feels like something I want to do, right? Yeah, I don't mind doing the night shift once a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I love this. I love it. Um, but on the stream this week, we had Duncan Buzz Kingo. He came down. He hung out. We did some recording, right? The idea was to make recordings. He, he's Basically, my album was at a point where I regarded what I'd done as finished, if you like. Aside from contributions that someone else could make, and those contributions were always going to be from Duncan. So I was waiting to see what Duncan would bring to the table, and then I would wrap up the recordings. And Duncan came down, and we sat and we recorded. We had a great time. We recorded some cool stuff. His additions to my existing, my existing work is very exciting. I haven't actually turned the computer on. Um, like I said, I'm using my iMac, I mean, my MacBook Pro right now. My iMac is sitting in my bathroom, switched off, just sitting on the porcelain, on the on the vanity, not being used. We've been doing everything on the on the MacBook Pro. I've actually raised it off the desk. It's got a, I've got like a nice clear airflow underneath there. It's got about it's about that high off the desk, and the iMac is just sitting waiting to and by the way whenever we did the recordings on in logic we didn't have a single shutdown 
There was one time when it didn't boot up, which was very scary. I'm not sure why, but we unplugged everything and plugged it back in and it booted up. So I'm using that for that only. And when, um, when that's done, I will then either try to get that fixed again, or I'll just sell it with a notification that this thing shuts down if you use a, a what it shit this thing shuts it's this thing shits itself that's that's going to be the ad 2015 iMac it shits itself uh, atlas walked away if you didn't change yours the bitrate the uh outgoing bitrate it means that the website lowered bitrate it was expecting from you for some reason that that totally makes sense atlas um and there is, <clears throat> there is probably a lot of testing going on right now while DLive jumps across to the Tron network, the Tron uh, blockchain. That does make sense. I hadn't thought about that. This is what I love about you people helping me to, to sort of like put this through the, through the ringer, through the process. Just back on the Duncan thing, we had Duncan sitting here. It was great. We had a lot of fun together. We drank a lot. We had a lot of cool stream content. I really want to speak on his behalf right here, right now, just because I feel like I know Duncan pretty well. I feel like he's that close to streaming. I feel like he's got, he, I feel like before he came down, he was not interested. Or he, he was interested in streaming, but he had no concept of what it actually felt like to sit in front of a camera and the light and the, the chat and to do the stream. But I feel like now, three days after being here with me, if we could, he's that close to doing it himself. If we could just push him over the edge, right? If we could just push Duncan into streaming, I reckon he'd come on. I reckon his first streams would be shit to be honest, but I reckon his fifth stream be rad. And by this 10th stream, he'd be having the greatest content, which we could all be engaging in. Just don't cross swords, Duncan. Don't do it at my time. Do it to your streams at a different time. So I'd, lo I'd love everybody to, I'd love to encourage everybody to um, give Duncan the support. Whenever you see Buzzkingo in my, my D live streams, just say, dude, uh, not pushing you, man, but uh, how long till you start streaming? You know what I mean? Like give him, give him the friendly, jab in the back that may push him across to the to the idea of yeah i'll start something um and that said duncan has got music and he does provide music to the stream i've always enjoyed his content his music his band back in the day buzz uh awesome stuff so i thought what better way to uh have duncan involved in in the content than to have him do a slightly random daily song on the d live and consequently right here on the youtube Welcome back to the Slightly Random Daily Song! There's beer on my moustache because I'm having a beer with Duncan. How you going, man? Cheers, I'm going great. We're having a homie down here at Crookhaven Heads where we're going to do a Slightly Random Daily Song. Came down here in front of a nasty, nasty storm coming through. Just ignore Steve Van and look at the clouds up there. It's gonna really break soon. So we kind of hope that we can sneak in these beers and do this slightly random daily song. That's a beautiful scene, right? Crookhaven heads. But I'm not gonna tell you about a song today. This is not my song. I'm gonna instead let the person in the band tell you about the song, because Duncan's here. So why should I do it when he can do it? He's in the band. I would have chosen this anyway. I would have chosen a different track off this demo, but this is Duncan's choice. Duncan, welcome to the Slightly Random Daily Song. Thank you. We could call this a slightly self-indulgent daily song today. But... <laughs> what have you... You know what? Am, am I going to do an interview here or am I just going to let Duncan talk? I'll just ask Duncan what he's got for us and then he can kick over with what he ever, whatever he wants to tell about that song. So what do you got for us, Duncan? Well, I've got this uh, song, a song from this cassette here, which Benin has very kindly preserved. It's the rarest of all buzz. It's also the only buzz as far as I know. This is a band I was in at, uh, in this is from 1993. So we're talking fairly early in the piece. And uh, I did know Benin would want to choose a different track. I want to try and show off there are better recordings in this. But uh, I chose the song Cheese Grin, which is the last track on this, which is, uh, it's got lots of cool bass at the start, which I did not play, but I like to say that I did write. But uh, yeah, it's Cheese Grin. This is me speaking with all sorts of wisdom at age 17 or something. I don't know where that comes from, but honored to be in the slightly random daily song with my, my one uh, achievement people, Buzz. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've always loved that demo cassette. Strangely enough, I think I'm the only one to own that, right? I believe it's the only one still in existence, yeah, as far as I know. There were only ever 10, yeah. I think, yeah. 
I actually offered to give it back to Duncan. I sort of said, dude, you, that's yours rightfully, so you can have it. But he said, no, you don't want it, right? Well, yeah, I feel that it belong, if there's only one, I mean, I can get self-indulgent to an and, and I definitely can, but I feel like it, the one other person who knows it exists might as well have the one copy. It feels like, you know, that way it's worked. It's a... Well, now, now a hell of a lot of people out there know that that exists. If anybody wanted to get the songs, could they get them from you? They could get them from me, but I will need to upload them to somewhere. But I'll be happy to hook up anybody who's actually interested, you know, absolutely. It's a slow thing. You record a demo in 1993 and then in 2020 you talk <laughs> it up. So <laughs> I love it. Well, man, cheers. Let's get these let's get this beer down and then put you in a beautiful position to enjoy Crookhaven heads and buzz with cheese grin. Let me just have a swig here. All right, I'm going to pop you guys down here. And maybe Duncan, you might want to introduce this. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Cheese Grin by Buzz of 93.
Thanks for listening. Thanks, people. I hope you enjoyed that. What I didn't tell you, that that's actually the pitch corrected version of Cheese Grin. Pitch corrected because back in the day when they duplicated demos onto cassettes, the process, if you did it cheaply as I did, uh, sometimes would actually, you'd end up with something that was slightly higher than when you recorded it. So that was pitch corrected. So while I have a listen to the original and see if I can actually tell the difference between pitch corrected and original, you guys can go back to the live stream. <laughs>actually just faffing around there trying to play along um, with Duncan and completely getting messed up so I ended up turning Duncan down and just working on something else this is a ween song I'm trying to like sort of like get together um, yeah but uh, you did catch me that's that's actually in a real real life catching right there uh, normally I do something silly and uh, come back pretending to be not paying attention but I was actually just writing writing right involved in what I was doing there Interesting question I see in the chit chat. I see uh, Paula and I see Beyond Beauty up in the chit chat. Beyond Beauty, it's so nice to see you. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? Sounded like a plane came very close to ground. It's like, Wah. Beyond Beauty, I was going to give you a cheers and I declined or I neglected. Good to see you, Beyond Beauty. The interesting question was from Rogan Cross. If this is live, then how did you pull up Buzz so fast? Rogan, uh, pretty simple. Uh, that was a pre-recorded, and I, I believe that was mentioned as well. That was a pre-recorded snippet that I put into my streams for the very uh, clear purpose of giving me a break from the stream. So I can get up, have a slash, fill my water, fill my water up, come back. You know, I went outside, checked the swell, made sure the surf was looking good came back and I feel refreshed now for the, for the next part of the stream. That's why I do that. Uh, reminded you a bit of Nirvana Atlas. Yes. And Duncan, if you ever watch this replay, you got some, you got some love here and some, and Duncan and, and Nirvana were like this. So he would love that. He would certainly love that, that, that comparison for sure. And I can hear it. He, he heard it. He was, you know, idol, idolizing Kurt Cobain. No doubt about it. He loves that. Uh, beyond the good news is we have got a, got it over. Money's too tight for oh, 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 oh. War Jack, grinning face with big eyes. Benny with the donation, the super chat. I'm stoked. Uh, did you guys hear that? The super chat's working. Thank you, Benny, for the fiver towards the Jack. Much appreciated, dude. You legend. You know what stokes me on that is because I worked very hard to get that to work, and I hope it worked. Did you go, you tell me you guys heard the notification? Tell me you heard steak. Money's too tight for steak, and it wasn't doubled up or anything because it took me. I faffed with this this morning to get it to work, and I hope that that worked. I wasn't gonna say can someone can someone test it because I can test it from my end using a Streamlabs test signal, right? But I wouldn't want to do that on the stream. It would sound silly. It worked. Yes. Yes, thank you, dear Lee. Thank you. Uh, Gibbs, keep Buzz captive as a content gimp. He's always ready. <laughs> That's good. I could do that. I could do that. And Benny says, you're welcome. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Hey, look, that the topic of conversation, does time move quicker as you get older? I did put this out on, this, on the stream. I put this proposition out onto the stream. Not the stream, onto the channel, onto a YouTube video. And there was a couple of responses. So let's have a look at those now. The first response comes from Floyd Bromley. Now, Floyd was a very regular um, contributor on the CreatorCast network. He's been a little bit sort of busy with his own channel these days. But he did say, uh, when you are one years old, a year is your whole life, quite literally. But by the time you are 10... One year is only 10% of your life, which is math, right? Makes sense. Obviously, that fraction gets even smaller the older you get. Hence, the feeling of time speeding up. I've never thought of it like that. I've never kind of... I've never kind of put it into that kind of logical, like, structure. Um, Beyond Beauty says, yes, my answer would be 100%, especially when I look at my kids. M yeah... And Mindy says it sounded good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. So we 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 are we're back, folks. We're back to we're back to good quality YouTube streams on a machine which is working flawlessly. 
zero drop frames. This is, I'm so pumped that this is working. So yeah, but Floyd's comment, let's just read it again. When you are one years of age, that is your whole life. So that's as long as you've existed. But by you, that by the time you extend that to 10 years of age, that one year actually only becomes 10% of your life, which makes sense if my math is working correctly. And this is a smart man, Floyd. And obviously that fraction gets even smaller the older you get, hence the feeling of time speeding up. It doesn't get any clearer than that, right? That's extremely clear. Thanks, Floyd. I don't think Floyd's in here, but that's damn brilliant. Yeah, Mindy, a brilliant, brilliant mind there from, from Floyd. Floyd is brilliant, totally. I, I I had a lot of respect for this kid when we when we first met him, YouTuber. Um, yeah, I, I I still I still dig the dude. I don't watch a lot of his content anymore, but he's a smart man. So thanks for that, Floyd. If if you happen to catch this rerun, cheers for for putting that in there, man. It makes a lot of sense. Tim also had a comment. He said, "Time definitely feels like it speeds up with age, even when you're in the moment and actually awaiting something." Time definitely feels like it speeds up with age, even when you're in the moment and actually waiting something, okay? I wonder if it is because as our brains age, we tend to only focus on things at hand rather than seeing or being aware of everything happening peripherally around us. Nah, I don't believe that. He says, now there's a topic that could be discussed in depth. Well, let's do it, Tim. You're not, you're not here because he's too busy selling a grow house to a real estate agent. His second point, the, the, the first part of that's kind of, I just disagree with. Uh, time definitely feels like it speeds up with age, even when you're in the moment and actually are waiting. It, to, me, to me, time feels like it's moving faster all the time, right? Not just at one point that you're in the, in the mode of waiting for something. It's the whole thing. Um, oh, Tim's back. Tim's back. Okay, Tim. Hey, does anybody want to jump in the Discord and have a voice chat here? Does, does, would this make more sense with a, with a voice chat? Any, I'll just put it out. Oh, shit. No, forget that. I didn't, I didn't set it up. It, if you want to jump in the Discord and you know the link, you're already in the Discord, let me know. But if you need a link to come in, I, I don't have that set up. But if you already know the Gives a Minute Discord and how to get to that voice channel, let me know and we'll open that up. Tim's back. So do you want to discuss this, Tim? I, I feel like you could discuss it better. But your point where you said, I wonder if it is because as our brains age, we tend to only focus on things at hand rather than seeing or being acutely aware of everything happening peripherally around us. I, I disagree with that. Who said that? See, I'm always aware of the things around me, the spaces in between. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's exactly accurate, but I appreciate your opinion and you're entitled to it. I just think that there's things happening around me that I'm certainly aware of and I'm. that's no different to when I was a kid. I was aware of the peripherals, right? I was aware of what was happening here, here, there, all the, all the kind of... That's what keeps me motivated, keeps me inspired, keeps me active when you see these things happening around you, when you, when you catch onto something you didn't catch onto before. Um, that kind of ties a little into... My dream, remember I had this dream this week? So I, I mentioned this on the D-Love. I haven't mentioned it here, I don't think, but there was a very strange occurrence that happened to me. I had, uh, I went for a surf, right? So I had a surf and the surf was okay. It was a couple of good waves, nothing, nothing great. Then I got a wave, a really, really clean, unbroken face. I was fanging across the surf. It was like a big... You know, like a four and a half foot wave, which for me is big, right? A nice, clean, unbroken four and a half foot wave. I'm cruising along it to the right, skipping along. I got so much speed off it from trimming up and down. I actually looked down at my 7S Superfish from Global Surfing Industries. Link in the description. There's no link in the description. Great board though. And I am sponsored, but this is not a sponsored video. Shut up, YouTube. And I looked down at my board and I could see the water skipping out from underneath it. And I could hear this sound. It was like... Chip, chip. It was like... beautiful a beautiful sound of this this clean not i'm not talking broken white water i'm talking a clean unbroken face where i was just going yeah fucking hang 10 here and it was right at that exact moment that i looked down and heard that noise that my brain tripped over itself and said this is your dream last night you had this dream last night and i was like i was surfing i was like what 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 pull i finished the wave pulled over the back of it and it hit me that that exact feeling and sound and vision 
was from the dream that I had the, that night or that, so earlier that morning, right? But I hadn't remembered it until I was on the wave. So my let me just tell you the dream. The dream was, and this is extremely strange, but this is probably why I didn't remember it, but I was surfing out the front of my old family home, which is a place called Oyster Bay on the Georges River. Now this is not a surf river, right? There's, it's actually a muddy, dirty, slothful, half salt, half water, brackish water. As a kid, I'd kick around on a surfboard. I used to paddle out into the middle of the river. There was a sandbar that used to get exposed at low tide. And whenever a cruiser, like a 16-foot cruiser would come through, the ones that sit deep in the water would generate a bit of wake. I'd wait there on that sandbank to catch like, you know, waves this big. But that's not what I dreamt. In the dream, oh, Stacy, Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Are you guys going down? Yeah. Speaking of swimming, Stacy and Marty are going for a swim. I'll be down, possibly. Possibly. So in the dream, I'm I'm surfing at the front of my place, but not in front of my house. I'm surfing in front of the neighbor's house and the swell is awesome. Like it's still the poo brown water. It's still dirty, muddy, not sandy. It's not an ocean, right? It's still dirty, but the waves are firing and I get a wave that takes me. It's actually a left-hander, not a right-hander, which is kind of strange because my real life was a right-hander, but the wave takes me from the left in front of my neighbor, the Dysons, in front of their house. I come across my house. I go across the Stubbs, which is the next house. And I wind up in front of a jetty on the fourth house. And the wave was so good, right? And I could hear it. In my dream, I was like skipping across. People on the shoreline, my family were watching me. It was like, greatest wave ever, yeah. But that's the dream. And I didn't even think of it, right? Never even, never even entered my mind until that wave in real life happened. And it was like, dude, that's your dream. That that That's your dream wave. As weird as that sounds like, and as wanky as that sounds, oh, your dream wave, get out of here. That was actually the wave I dreamt about happening in real life. And we were talking about on DLive, is it possible that your subconscious, um, your no, your waking life can control your subconscious to remember things that happened in your sleeping life? So... When you dream, apparently it's you experiencing things that you've you've put on the back shelf or you you haven't dealt with yet or whatever it is, right? You've you've got something that you need to deal with and you deal with it in dreams because you can't process it in real life. But then what happens when real life trips that up and actually makes you deal with it? So you could have the same scenario with the next relationship or a job or a, a financial win or a financial loss or whatever it is, your day-to-day -day real waking life makes you deal with it without you even knowing it right i didn't of course i want to get a great wave but i didn't know it was going to happen then and i didn't know it was because of the dream and then in in the, on the stream people were saying well can you just dream about the lotto numbers and then we'll, we'll all put live tickets in so yeah that ties into this life moving fast right like things happening beyond your your scope your control like things just happening faster than what you could possibly uh, exp Faster than when you, things moving faster as a kid, slowing, things moving faster. Let me read the chit chat. Benny Crawford, last year felt like five months for me. Yeah, dude, that's, I can't, I can't believe we've just had Christmas. I can't, I can't believe. It felt, Christmas was so soon, like seriously, unbelievable. Tim says, good morning, Crystal, Benny, Mindy, the CIA, Paula, Atlas, Rowan, Shyla, and the Master of Ceremonies, Ben on, oh, that's nice. Sup, Tim, Benny Crawford, Deja Vu. That's the thing, Benny, that's not Deja Vu. Deja Vu is when in your real life, you feel like you've been somewhere or you've seen this before. That's not what happened to me. In real life, I actually had the thing that happened in the dream manifest itself in real life that's i don't i don't think that's deja vu deja vu is like i knew i'd pick up the guitar right then and play an e chord i knew that would happen i knew it because i'd felt it that didn't happen in a dream it happened in real life okay so back up to tim the ex-landlord has now for the first time actually seen the house he bought and he's regretting it. So, Tim, let me just be clear. You're not the... 
tenant? Are you the are you the tenant in that house? We were trying to work out your your grow house scenario. You're not the grower, right? You wouldn't put that in the chat, surely. Oh wait, I forgot. I've been gone so long, says Beyond Beauty. I forgot I'm the CIA. There you go. I. When did you become CIA? I can't recall that. Tim. Okay, there you go. Forget my blonde moment, Tim. I make a terrible agent, Beyond Beauty. It's it. it yeah, well. I was going to say something a little bit dubious there, but I remembered we're on YouTube now. Keep it level, folks. Keep it level. Uh, Atlas walked away. It sounds like you practiced in your dreams and subconsciously used that practice to nave the whale. Uh, to, nave, to nave the whale. What? Can someone clip that? Oh, wait. We're not on DLive. I said to nave the whale. So the, the actual sentence was subconsciously use that to practice. Use that practice to nail the wave. But I read to nave the whale. How does one nave a whale? I don't know. If you can tell me, I would love to learn. I'm always waving. I'm always naving whales. Shit. You're forgetting you. You're undercovered beyond. You're undercover. Shush, Tim. <laughs> Keep it down. Benny Crawford. Yes, I had a dream. I suffered from deja. I had a dream. I suffered from deja vu. What? DLE. I wish there were clips on YouTube. Yeah, it's a simple feature, right? It's a simple feature that YouTube just does not have. DLive have clips. YouTube does not. Very, it's a shame because that one would have been an absolute banger. That would have been gold. Um, Tim, yeah, clar clarify, Tim. Clarify yourself. Uh, the comments you put at the very beginning of the chat where you talked about... So let me let me just read that again. Let me, let me go back up. At the very beginning of the chat, Tim, you said... Hello all, I'll be joining you later as I have a property handover to the landlord. So you're handing over property that you inhabit or you're the or you're the real estate agent. And then you said this will be interesting as he doesn't know it was a grow house. A grow house before you occupied it or before today. That's what's confused me. And I was speculating that if it was you that was doing the growing, you definitely would not put that in the chat, right? Would you? Not on YouTube, surely. Mindy, there's a naving of the whale. One, two, three, there's four whales. That's pretty funny. And that one's spurting. So that's naving? So that's the naving of the whale? Yeah, Tim, I, I, I got to tell you, man, I was very very confused by your comment initially and we tr we tried to sort of dissect it and work it out but we're not sure if we got to the to the actual meat of it um but tim now that you're back can i if it's okay with everybody else can i do the hottest 15 spiel again just for tim's sake um i feel like this is important right tim you've just joined us and i know i know you do get across to d live on the on the sly here and there um and beyond beauty this is also for your benefit too you, you're sometimes you've been on d live a little I think yeah, we've seen you on D Live, yeah. Uh, tenant, uh, ex-tenant handle handing property back to the landlord. The tenants prior to me used the house as a grow house for eighteen months under a different owner. Okay, so you so you just lived there as it was an ex-grow house. I gotcha. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. So you lived in that place as a grow house, but it wasn't being used for that. Spurting whales is the X tag on? Shit. <laughs> Shit, Paula. Um, so, Tim, here's the thing. Over on DLive, for the last, since August, right? Since August, whenever I do a, a pre-roll content where I need to go and refresh the glass, take a slash, go outside, check the ocean, whatever it is, I bring up a, a menu or a screen to let the givers select what we play. Like, the, tr the tracks are always somehow, they're always band related and they're always related to me in some way, shape or form. So. Typically, it'll be a, a photography story about a band that I've worked with and I'll showcase the photos and then we'll play the song. Now, that's been happening since August. And me being the nutter that I am, I didn't even know I was doing it really. Or I didn't even know why I was doing it, but I was keeping a tally of who, of those selections, right? Not of, not of every time it was selected, but if it was a win, right? Let's say there was three crew that chose track number four, then track number four would get one tally. I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose, I wouldn't tally up every time someone said the track, right? It was not like that. And then, 
at the end of the year, I figured, well, we should start fresh with new songs, right? This is a new year, 2020. We should put new songs in, so we don't need to hear the same songs another year, right? And of course, the year is the snap-off point. Even though we began August, I could go August through August. Just makes sense to snap it off. Anyway, when I looked at the tally, I was looking at it thinking, you know what we've got here? We've got ourselves a countdown. We've got ourselves a take a take 40 Australia. A, co- a top 40, a countdown, right? A, a top 40, in this case, top 15. I thought maybe we should do a countdown. We should do a stream where we count down those top 15 tracks. So being gives a minute, being, being the nutter that I am, I decided to not just build a playlist in iTunes and have that on the screen and, and then press play and have me talking about the songs. I thought that would be shithouse. What I did instead was I jumped out and I went on a trip. I went up to Crookhaven Heads and I took my camera gear, took all my songs, took some CDs, put some, got some nice viewpoints, some vistas, made some videos about the songs. And what I'm going to do on the stream, on the Gives A Minute DLive stream tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and make the Hottest 15 countdown of those 15 songs, which you Yahoo's chose. Not me, it's you guys. And you, you blew me away with some of them, i got to tell you. There's one in there that'll be like, huh? Anyway, I put a link in the chit chat now. Um, and that link is to my DLive. If you, don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the link to the DLive. Now, Tim, you do know because you've been over there a few times. But if you do have a look at my DLive, Currently, it looks like this. I've got a little placeholder up there for the hottest 15. Counting down your favorite songs from 15 to 1, 26th of January, 2020 at 2 p.m. AEDT, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So that's the little placeholder for everybody to sort of realize what's going on. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to do any reruns until we've done this stream. I'm going to leave that up on the screen permanently. Um, Beyond Beauty, awesome. I can't wait. Yeah, thanks, Beyond. I'm, I'm, I'm really pumped for it. Um, it's exciting because it's not me saying these are my favorite 15 songs of the last year. It's, it's me saying I gave you guys 20, I think it was 27 songs in totes. I gave you 27 songs and of those 27, here are the 15 that you guys categorically wanted to hear repeatedly. And that's how we, that's how we come to the, the consensus and the conclusion and the number one. And throughout that role, what you're going to see on the stream tomorrow, it's not, like I said, it's not just me playing the songs. It's me talking. It's me out in nature showing be- like beautiful scenes. And of course, for the for the win, there's an in, an extended something or other, right? An extension. Should be fun. Yeah. And I, I think, I think I'm going to do it yearly. I think I'm going to do this. There'll be, there'll be a yearly countdown. Maybe the end of 2020 will be a top 20. Uh, this 15, I think... 15 is a is a good number a, a solid number 20 is a bigger number and we will obviously have a whole year of songs to uh, process to go through arguably here on the D live or there on the D live we've only had August through till December the end of December so not a great deal of time but uh, Tim would I be able to ask you to come across to that stream and watch it tomorrow would that be would that be possible would you be interested in watching here's here's me asking you to come to d live right i know you i know you've made the account and you've been over there but it's been a little while since you've popped in i would love to have you over there and beyond beauty i'd love to have you over there too i see you know awesome can't wait i appreciate that It'd be nice to have you uh paulo asked a good question uh wouldn't the previous owner have to declare the grow house in the sale contract yeah mm. Beyond Beauty says, I stream on YouTube more than DLive, but I do DLive sometimes. Beyond, is that right? You're streaming on DLive too? And I'll be here. Okay, great, Beyond. Let me let me ask you something. With YouTube and streaming, what it so so you're streaming a lot on YouTube, right? Like not daily, but but every couple of days. What is it about YouTube? And, and when, I, when I say this, let me be clear, I'm putting you and I in the same boat here. I'm putting you and I in the same category. What is it about streaming on YouTube as a small creator that still um, is excites the right word? Not excites. It, that still interests you. What is it about YouTube live streaming as a small creator that still interests you to the point where you still do it? Because I still do it. I'm not a hundred percent certain what this achieves. To be honest, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoy D Live. Clearly, I love D Live. I love streaming on D Live. I love the live 
content on DLive. I understand this is important. I mean, we did have one new person come in here. One new person came into the chat and was confused about my pre-roll and then they obviously left because we addressed them and they weren't here. They potentially disliked it and left, right? So what does that do to, to me? Does that just push me further down in the rankings? I mean, obviously no one's being, this stream is going nowhere but to my viewers, right? It's not going on any homepage or anything at all, ever. It's not being recommended to anybody, this stream. None of my streams are ever recommended. We never see, we never see someone coming in going, oh, hey man, your content looks pretty cool. I'll give you a follow. But on DLive, every day people are like, hey, I came across your channel on the homepage. Looks like a good stream setup. What are you talking about? Okay, I'll give you a follow. You're the latest giver. You know what I mean? Like, um, DLE, when you have someone at your house and they try to pull you off the bed. Uh oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, uh, Beyond Beauty, YouTube trying to build my audience, it used to be easier. Very, very interesting comment, Beyond. YouTube has a larger audience at this point than other platforms. That is my draw. Okay, so simply because there's more people around the platform, you feel like you can potentially reach more people by doing by streaming on that platform. I, I completely concur. I, I get that. All I'm... All I'm saying, or my thoughts are that because the platform is as large as it is, and consequently you get more crew potentials to watch, but YouTube just doesn't promote anybody except for the big names, right? They promote every, they promote the dudes that are already smashing it. They keep promoting them. What's Why can't this stream ever get recommended? Okay, I cussed a few times. I mean, is that why my stream didn't get recommended? Why is this stream not on the homepage of YouTube? When you go to the the uh, the um, what's it what's it called? Not the um, rec not the recommended. When you go to the what's the big fuck? I can't even remember. Let's have a look. What's the big thing on YouTube? Not the recommended. Let's go across here. Go to YouTube trending. The trending. Why? That's what I'm looking for. Why can I not be on the trending tab? Is it is it so? Is it so outlandish to think that I could be on the trending tab? Who's on the trending tab? Billie Eilish, Vivo, The Tonight Show, Australian Open, Shane Glosson. Star okay, so I don't know who Shane Glosson is, but of these trending tabs, realistically, realistically, does Billie Eilish, Vivo need to be on the trending tab? Does The Tonight Show need to be on the trending tab on fucking YouTube? Does the Australian Open need to be on the trending tab? You know what I'm saying? It seems ridiculous that they're promoting this shit. Star Wars trailer? NBA? Linus Tech Tip? You know what I'm saying? Like, this just seems ridiculous. Like, why are they promoting that stuff? They've already, they're well established. Look at this, folks. Billie Eilish, 10 million views one day ago. Do you think they, do you think they need more promotion? Hell no. The Tonight Show, 3.7 million views two days ago. Why do they need more promotion? They should be promoting the other creators. Benny says, please read my comment. Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. Benny says, the first time I saw this stream was on the YouTube main page. No, it was nuts, Benny. I've never, I've never been on a trending tab on YouTube. Never, ever. Main, what you're saying, what you're seeing there is not the main page YouTube. That's your experience on YouTube because you may have watched a previous vlog of mine. You would see, hey, Gives a Minute is, is live streaming. That's all you're seeing. You're not, you're not on the, you're not on a random homepage of YouTube, which is featuring Gives a Minute. Because if you were, I would have had... 10,000 subs from that, and I haven't. Yeah, that you guys are being, conf you're, be you're being confused. That's not the main page. That's not the main page on YouTube. You To be on the main page on YouTube, you'd have to go over here. You'd have to go to YouTube like this, and you'd have to be very clear that you're not signed in. See how it says sign in there? I never sign in when I'm streaming. This, is, this here is the main page on YouTube, right? Now, I've never been on the main page here on the recommended ever. Look who's here now. Dashcam Owners Australia, Bobby Olsen, Agenda Free TV, 
that's got 3.4k people watching it. You think if I was there, they would I would have had a stream with three and a half thousand people watching? Never happened. Sorry, Benny, you're wrong. A current affairs up there. Nine News Australia. You know what I'm saying? Like it's such such a strange concept that they're promoting that when there's so many people like Beyond Beauty and myself that will never, ever get a chance at that. Ever. We'll never, ever get a chance. Never. Creators that help other creators. That's a great idea. Ben on, how about a group like that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can you hear, can you hear the guys outside? They just come back from the swim. I was going to go and join them, but I'll, I'll have to do it another time. That's stupid. They should do some, totally, totally. They should promote smaller streamers. Like, why, why does Channel Nine need this? Channel Nine people are searching for that shit. They don't need it there. You can search for that. Breaking news. Arguably, this is a pretty, pretty handy tab. The breaking news tab. These other ones down here. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be negative, Ben. On. <laughs> You know what? There's there's this thing on YouTube where it's like you can't say anything against it because then they'll promote they'll depromote you even further. I don't give a shit. I'm not being promoted here on YouTube at all. They don't like me. They don't like my content. They don't even know I it's 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 worse than that. They don't even know I exist. They're not interested in me. They don't care about me. They don't care about me and the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of channels like me. They don't care that I'm delivering a good quality stream. They don't care. They do not care. They could not give a rat's if I was here or gone. That's the reality of YouTube. Unfortunately, that's what we're playing with. I'm gonna continue to create content here on YouTube. I'm not going away. I'm just stating the facts. That's what we're up against. And that's why when a platform like DLive or any other platform comes across and says, well, we're presenting a different option for you. We're presenting a different structure, a different concept. What do you think? You wanna join up? You wanna see what it's like? Hell yeah, I'll jump on and see what it's like because this is not working for small creators at all. Not at all. It's not working. And it's 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 past the point of saturation a long time ago. I was around for that whole thing, Beyond Beauty. Yeah, the, the creator cast, right? It's unbelievable how bad that went, really. Like, we got to help each other. we got to help build each other. We're going to push each other forward. Well, you can't tell me what I'm doing wrong because I don't want you to tell me that. I can't handle... The, if you're going to tell me what I'm doing wrong, that's not... I'll find that out myself, you know? Get off, get off your high horse. Take criticism. That's the point of CreatorCast. Take criticism from your friends. Move on. Get better. Oh, you can't tell me what I'm doing wrong. I was going to find that out myself. And therefore, I'm no longer friends with you. And Jay, oh, well... You can't disagree with what I do, and therefore I'm going to walk away from it. But get get off your high horses! Absolutely ridiculous. Like that kind of that kind of approach to friendships and to creating like to creating a joint channel is never going to end well, right? If you can't take criticism, I took criticism from them. Why can't they take it from me? You know why? They're ego maniacs. Ego maniacs is what that is. I can hear my outro music, folks. I hope you can hear it this time. I don't know if it came through last time. What a fun stream. I'll see you all next week for the Gives A Minute YouTube stream. See you tomorrow for the DLive Hottest 15. Hell yeah, can't wait. Oh, that's um, we're out of time.